Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can convert a Figma design into a live website using Webflow. Webflow is a CMS. A CMS is a content management system. Um, you can liken Webflow to WordPress. I'm sure some of you might have heard about WordPress or Joomla. And recent reviews have proven that Webflow is a better CMS. Well, I suggest you go onto Google and type Webflow. I think there is a Webflow University. Uh, you can see the brief about Webflow, what it's about and the rest. With this tutorial, you are actually going to learn how to convert your Figma design into a live website. Now, um, this is Webflow. When you log on to Webflow, you create your account. Uh, this is, you create your account. This is where it's going to take you to. Another thing is for you to link your um, Figma to Webflow. And how can you do that? How you can do that is when you open your Figma design, this is the website that we want to replicate. So if you open your Figma design, you run the plugin um, Figma to Webflow. This is it, Figma to Webflow, HTML, CSS, and so once you click on run, it's going to take you to somewhere here. Then at first, it's going to ask you to log in to link your account so you can go through those processes. And then after that, it's going to give you something like this. So if you click on the new page, if you click on where you want to export, it's going to say, okay, what do you want to do? Say, look at the instruction here. First, choose a Webflow site above. So if you click on here, you can, you see the list of Webflow um, sites that you have. Then you can click on it and then you click on copy to Webflow. But I want to, instead of just rushing this, I want to show you um, an easy way to build a web uh, website but design a website even here in figma so let's just quickly practicalize that with this plugin figma to webflow you can actually design a perfect website without having to stress yourself now this is um, the plugin in the plugin here you have different um components that are ready for your design they're not really components now but different sections different um pre-made sections that you can use for your design so once you click on navigation you see the, the navigation bar the hero different types of hero sections form different types of form um theme logo i seen the different sections that you can actually use in your design i'm sure most of us use this um on a daily basis but um we actually have to go through the stress of creating it by ourselves from scratch and the rest well webflow has made the work easier and much um simple much more simple for you to use so these are the layouts though if you click on the structure you can see structures in case you want to um add yours by yourself i just want you to take your time walk through this webflow plugin you sure that i'm sure that it's going you are going to find it very useful now let's click on new page so this is a new page now in the new page let's go to layout and let's click on navigation bar so we have our navigation bar in the new page now what is uh, another thing we need the hero section let's use a hero section like this so i have used the hero section like this another thing is want to okay like um you know let's click in something like this you know to describe our brand more and then something like this the opposite yeah i think something like this is cool so another thing is okay let's say form to say after they know about our brand so they can get in touch with us and then this is our team well i would like to add something below these logos so i want to add them somewhere around here i think it should come right below the so you can see what i'm doing i'm just dragging it and it's automatically coming in place 
So after that, I think that's about it. So we can add, we can add our footer. Then all you have to do here is to edit it to your taste. That is, you add your colors, you change the content, and then you go from here. <clears throat> so this is a perfect design. I want to let you know that it is fully auto layout. So anything you want to do will surely fall in place. The auto layout is perfect and it is fully done. You can agree with me that Webflow is quite Webflow plugin is quite a great tool to use. It's fully auto layout. It's perfect for your design. Or in case um, there is a section you need that is not actually there, you can skip that and do that yourself. And there is also a way you can do that with using um, using the um, structure. Okay, this is the structure. You can actually add structures and then work on it yourself. You see, these are div and these are the HTML tag. For those of us that are familiar with HTML, this is div, paragraph, h1, h2, to so h6. So, that is it. So basically, this is the magic. Just surprising. Okay, this is what we want to work on now. So, with this now, I can click on copy to the flow. Meanwhile, remember I've already selected um, the sites that I wanted to copy to. And then in my workflow, I already have the site here, Figma to Webflow Tutorial. So, that's it. So these are the latest updates in Webflow. Okay, so this is the one I did earlier on. I want to delete this. I can just highlight it or I can what you have to do is come on to these pages this navigator once you come to navigator you can click on the page and then you delete so we have an empty so as you can see this is an empty workspace now we've deleted what was previously there i actually did it before so i'm going to redo it now so you know we have copied this we have copied this to webflow and then we have actually linked the pages together so so you can just come to your webflow canvas and click on control v can you see as i click on control v it has already yeah it has already brought me all my company so these are different screens um, that you can actually use to view uh, website in cms there's what we call media query so a media query you use it to split your screens and make your design responsive for each screen section that is you make your design mobile responsive um tab la landscape tab portraits um, websites and then desktop so i think this is the laptop view let's move on to website that is a breakpoint let's create another breakpoint uh, this is the I think this is the largest breakpoint for desktop. So this is it here. This is our website already. Remember, if you are to make changes, you can make those changes here, and you can also make those changes before pasting them here on Webflow. Um from now I'm going to be walking you through how you can use webflow how you can solve use webflow to build um even more complex websites remember a cms can hold um, can hold something complex can carry 
a complex um, website. You know, you can actually use a CMS for e-commerce websites and the rest. So you can actually use this for an e-commerce website. Maybe I'm going to show you how you can do that one day. Um, basically, this is how you can copy a Figma design into Webflow. But there is something, <laughs> there is something that is very, very, very complex and that is number one. If you don't do that, you won't be able to copy your design into Webflow. And what is that thing that you are supposed to do? If your design is not fully auto layout, let me come again. If your design is not fully auto layout, you are not going to be able to copy it to Webflow. This icon is not going to come out. Now, let us give an example. Now, how let's try to export this to that same Webflow design. Let's try to export it as a section and let's see if it's going to work. So, this is Figma to Webflow run. Remember, if I click on any of this, it's going to bring out you see, copy to Webflow that is. This has been automatically selected. If I click on this, it's showing copy to Webflow. If I click on any section here, it's showing copy to Webflow. So in case I want to add other sections to those to this design that I just exported, I can click on the sections and add. In case, let's say I want to add another section. Let's say I want to add this um, gallery overview section. Once it once it adds, once it adds, I can bring it up to anywhere I want it to be. I think here is actually cool. So, so I can just click on this section and copy it. Then, if I come onto my workflow, go to um, Navigator. These are my pages, the new page. I can paste it here. So this is it here. So that's how it works. Um, <clears throat> you see, once, when, if I click on any of these sections, it actually works. But let's try this one that we just created. Wow, why is it not working? It's shown select an auto layout frame to copy. That means if a frame is not auto layout, it's not going to copy it. See this get started. You know we added auto layout to it. So this is it here. It's showing copy to workflow. Now let's just quickly add auto layout to this. You see that 
it's going to show you see it's already showing see it's already showing so if you want to make this image to have a layout there are many processes you want to you want to go through i don't want to waste much time on this like i said you can actually go on to webflow university to learn more about webflow yeah this is just how to export your design into webflow i think i'm actually going to do a tutorial on this later on so you can stick around and wait for this i just want you to know that these guys that have been auto layout you can actually copy them to webflow so anything that you put on auto layout that is all you can export to webflow if you if it doesn't have an auto layout you can't export it to webflow now instead of using this you can actually come here and use this it's the same thing and it's actually going to work perfectly it's just like the one we use here which is this um, so basically this is how you can export your design into webflow without having any issue so how can you um, make your website go live you can come on to publish and this is actually a free version of webflow so there is a custom domain that you can use webflow provided you a custom domain and this is it so once you click on publish to selected domain it's going to publish to the selected domain and it's a custom dom domain for only you if you click on this arrow it's going to take us to the website so this is the website that we just created wow perfect excellent okay so um if you have a custom domain you can register um you can subscribe to their um, you can subscribe and then you'll be able to export your um design to a registered domain another thing is you can actually um share this design while you are still working on it in case you want people to review and make corrections and the rest another thing is you can check the codes and this is always only available this is available when you want to the x you can check the code it's work perfectly you can copy it though except to subscribe if you subscribe you can be able to export it then use your code editor to do anything you want to do i think webflow is a perfect tool um, that you may want to try you can give it a try and drop the link in the comment section let's see what you've got thank you for sticking around do well to subscribe like and comment bye